Now, uh, I won't say much of a follow-up, but there were some who appeared before the TRC were placing blame on those who had supported the, the ECOWAS initiative by charging that they were the cause of the problem by forming a government while a president was still sitting in power and uh, creating such a problem. Of course, uh, there are those who dismiss that. What would you say? But you see, it was very interesting because <clears throat> that's very interesting. Because we were getting intelligence report. I mentioned the visit of Dr. Abbas Bundu to Morovia. And he was executive secretary of ECOWAS. Dr. Bundu went behind Rebel Lines, Taylor Lines. His impression was that Taylor was popular. The women had spread their lapas for Taylor to walk on like Jesus entering Jerusalem. And my famous quip to him was that, well, you know what happened to Jesus afterwards? He had come to Morovia. He had come to Morovia. And he had met Samuel Doe in the executive mansion. And Samuel Doe had argued that he would give power to anybody except Charles Taylor, who he condemned as a fugitive and a thief. He said that to Abbas Bundu. And he said, I am ready to move from this mansion with my feet first before giving power to Taylor. So we understood this was going to be a fight to the end. Taylor on one side, over the BBC, referring to Samuel Doe, don't mind that boy. We're not stopping for that boy. That boy must come down. Do on the other side, refusing to accept the indignity, saying to the executive sector of ECOWAS, who had been sent by the leaders of West Africa, I'd rather die here than turn power over to Taylor. And so, the idea of the interim government was the middle road. Do is ready to go. He's ready to leave Liberia. If Taylor is interested in elections, let him stop where he is. Let's negotiate. This interim government can only hold power for, for, it, for about one year. It will go. It's a temporary solution. He refused. If Ecomorg had not come in, I can say something to you. It would have been, it would have been a total destruction of this country. It would have been a war which would have engulfed the entire sub-region. Because if Ecomorg had not come in, the Guineans were determined to come in. Based on the ECOWAS defense accord, they would have come into, the, into those, uh, on those side. The Nigerians would have come in on those side. The Ivorians would probably have been forced to give more support to, to the Burkinabis to come in on Taylor's side. This would have been a battleground fought by proxy armies of certain international actors. Our calculation was that the interim government was the only temporary uh, solution bringing the interim government. If you control 90% of the, of the population, you control the country, then let the interim government come and then go for election in one year. They refuse. They refuse. And they attack Ecomog. The war drag on. So for those who say, if you had not come in, that again, that again, is how policemen think. If Mr. X doesn't go here, why won't happen? It doesn't. If Mr. Taylor had agreed there and then to calculate as a political strategist and say, look, the people want me. I'm popular. In Morovia, they're saying, let the Taylors teach everything together. People are shouting, I'm over the radio. The BBC lady told me, I said, why are you always calling Taylor? They said, Taylor is radio. People like to hear him. <laughs> if you had that support, then Go one step backward, two step forward. Say, I will hold on to my position. Let the interim government come. But I demand we have elections within nine months. Why did he refuse? Who told Taylor to refuse? It was very simple. Taylor too must have heard what Samuel Doe said. And Taylor's calculation was that if he allowed the interim government to establish itself, the horrors taking place behind his line would be revealed because Ecomog would go behind there. And once Ecomog revealed the horror, the masses of the poor would drift down to Morovia and the election would have been lost by Taylor. That was his calculation. I am convinced beyond all reason without. That's why he formed his government, NPR something government in Banga. 
as simple as that. So to those who say, if, the, if Ecomod had not come, I said, please, if Ecomod had not come, probably we would not have had a library. We've had arches, 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 because the Guineans came in Ecomog. The Nigerians came in Ecomog. They had the force, the potential. And probably if you say, then Do would have been in power. Who knows? Historical conjecture again. Who knows?